Hey guys, do you want to see a movie that IMDb claims features a college town, police, and a vigilante group? That's what we watched. Yeah. <laughs> if you do, then Graduates of Malibu High is for you. Uh, Graduates of Malibu High or The Young Warriors. Yes, which was the UK title I found out. Oh. Because hmm. our says, copy said Young Warriors. Like In the opening credits, it says both. Does it? Yeah, it does. It's right. Yeah, because yeah. it's it like it says a little like opening crawl, whatever. And it says right. like these are the graduates of Malibu right. High. And then it says like young warriors. Right. Yeah. So it says both. My name is Brian Lee. <laughs> uh not in El Pro <laughs> Village. In my backyard is Bram Bran. Not in Evanston. In my backyard is is really. Uh hey, I'm sorry, guys. This was my choice. Yeah, this was great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the best part. Was the beginning and those headphones. The square yes. ones? Yes. Yes. And then it was downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> not, not far off. <laughs> um, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was well, terrible. Uh, Brian, Brian, do you recommend Graduates of Malibu High? Nope. Okay, Brian, do you recommend Graduates of Malibu High? I, I do not. Uh, I do not <laughs> recommend Graduates of Malibu High. <laughs> Next round of question. Is this worse than Hell Squad, Brian, Brian? Oh. I was th- actually, I was thinking about this. This comes so close to being worse than Hell Squad. Like, it's it's right there. I think if we talk about it yeah. and you guys convince me, it'll be worse than Hell okay. Squad. But right now, Hell Squad's still worse. Uh, Brian, is this worse than Hell Squad? I I think Hell Squad is worse still. Ooh, okay. I, I hate, hate women. women. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say I would say this is worse than Hell Squad. I, 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 I have a very yeah. exact reason why, okay. but we'll get into it. All right, cool. cool. Uh, for people who have not seen this, which I assume is everyone, because the only copies are on YouTube, which was terrible quality. Quality. And then, did I tell you guys I found one on archive.org that was slightly <laughs> better quality? Wow, what yeah. is archive.org? I just, it's an archive of the internet. <laughs> oh, there you go. So on YouTube, it's like 360p. On archive, it was like 480p. Ooh. So get a few extra pixels. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, for people who have not seen this movie, uh, a young woman is gang raped and murdered in a California college town. I did not realize it was California. Just putting that out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't um, Sparking her brother, Kevin, to take up arms by night with a gang of like-minded vigilantes from his fraternity, <laughs> brutally <laughs> punishing any miscreants they catch in a criminal act. Yes, and this is like a Revenge of the Nerds, like, slash... Why can't, why can't I think of the movie? The one that the guy's in, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> the guy. Who's the, the guy? The guy the, that kills everybody. That kills all the bad guys. I can't Charles think. Bronson? Yes, what's Death it called? Wish. Death Wish. Thank you. It's like Revenge of the Nerds meets Death Wish. Just because there's a vigilante? Right. Yeah, but, but you could also say, like, Batman. Right, exactly. <laughs> but what else would you compare it to then? What else could you compare this to? It's a shitty Death Wish, Revenge of the Nerds mashup. There's not a lot of Revenge of the Nerds. you just say Revenge of the Nerds because it's in college? No, because the beginning thing with the horse and the, and the, the frat party. Oh, and the yeah. so Well, because that's where I thought they were going with all of this. I didn't. It's like all of a sudden there's all these like weird gags and tying like rocks to ropes to your dong and throwing out windows yeah. and all this stuff. And all of a sudden his sister gets like dang right. But I'm just like, whoa, ho, <laughs> where are we going with this? Uh, did either of you guys read the synopsis before watching this? I no, didn't. I never do. I think I just no. Yeah, browse through it really quick. Yeah, yeah I, I'm just curious how yeah. much of a surprise. The, I just know there was nothing about a dog wearing sunglasses and a hat the whole time <laughs> in the synopsis. Yes. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. That is true. Well, yeah, huh. they're a band of like vigilantes, and they get like high powered rifles and machine guns, and they yeah. travel around in a uh, Jeep Wrangler, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like in like Malibu. Uh, but then like they have this white poodle that like they bring with them. <laughs> A poodle? That is fluffy. It was not threatening. It's, it's sort of like, I, I guess, <laughs> that was the part that got me. It's like yeah. the, it's the fraternity dog, I think. Right. So it's like yeah. whenever like it's just the dog of the house. So yeah. when those guys leave, the new f- fraternity people will have that dog to serve. That was the part that got me. It's like when they're busting crime, it's like they have like the yeah, fluffy dog, and I'm like, yeah. Mm. And they're they're busting crime. They okay. So the first people they got arrested when they try to bust that one. They stopped the, yeah. that one lady getting kidnapped, and then right. they killed a bunch of kids. Great job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were not. They were not good <laughs> vigilantes. No, well, not at all. And how they, Bronson is much better. Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> and how they get to that conclusion is very abrupt. Just like, hey, yes. you know, 
since we're going to be out like looking for these guys, we might as well stop other bad people. Yeah. It's, and yeah. it's literally like that. Yeah. I'm not that, like that's a line right. Yeah, that's exactly. a line in the yeah. movie. Yeah. Look, we all agreed we're going to go out prowling around looking for Tiffany's murderers anyway, right? So why don't we look for other crime and try to stop it? All right. The brother, Kevin, or goes from being this carefree art art guy that has all these great animations. Right. To oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought the movie something I thought it had like it went from the movie to a different movie when the animation yes. comes out. And I'm yep. just like, uh oh, I think something happened in this movie. <laughs> like, is this part of this? How old is Kevin? Oh, they're all mid twenties. No, they're older than that. You think so? Yeah. They yeah. all look pretty old. They're supposed to be in college, yeah. but I mean yeah. they look Kevin older. looks old. Yes. Yeah. 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 There's a couple of his friends that look a little bit younger, but yeah, the, the Kevin guy looks super, super old. His dad. Who's his dad? I forget the, the name. Fucking he, Ernest Borden, I That's dude. the name. I knew, I couldn't think of his name, but he's been in awesome stuff. What happened, dude? Like, <laughs> did he need money? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I always whenever I hear Ernest Borden, I, I just all I think of is him in The Simpsons. <laughs> oh, come on, kid. Quit crying. It'll be fun. I promise. <laughs> he's great. But yeah, uh, Not in this, but he's great. But he yells a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's his go-to. Yeah. Like, if he's not sure, like, where to take his, like, acting direction. He's like, oh, right. yeah, he will yes. love it. Well, and especially, like, there's, like, a scene where, like, he and his partner, like, his phone's ringing in his office. And, like, he <laughs> runs inside. He's like. Yes, Lieutenant Carey. You what? Oh, listen. I want to handle this one myself. This party was a cool customer. I liked him. Yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, like, if... It was like a, a buddy cop movie. Right. Which is those two. Oh, I would love it. That would be, a, yeah, it would be a fantastic movie. Him yelling and the, the guy's like, hey, you can cool down, buddy. Yeah. You need blood pressure medicine. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> My pocket knife. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, give him like a boxer dog or something yes, like that. Yes, it would be fantastic. It would be like Jake and the Fat Man. What? Yeah, yeah. Sounds like Turner and Hooch. It does. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jake and the Fat Man. Oh, was that I Jim can't Belushi? Remember if Jake was the, so. yes. <sighs> but the man, the principal, he was in the principal too. I love that movie too. Jake, yeah, he's such a good actor. Jim Belushi is just not as good. No, he's not as good. You take what you can get, right? And he's at every Portillo's you see. <laughs> he is. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> According to Jim. <laughs> him and that. Him and that one guy, the Fox News guy. Bob Surratt, that's who it is. Oh, oh is he in all of them too? Yeah, yeah. I'm like Walter Jacobson. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought too. Yeah, <laughs> which I bet. Yeah, I bet Walter Jacobson is a few of them. But yeah, uh, him yeah. and Bob Surratt. I don't know. Just some Chicago references that no one will get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there you go. Very interesting. I don't remember that Bob Surratt. Yeah, all the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this film dedicated to the King Vidor? <laughs> that was weird. I didn't understand that. Part. I must have missed that completely. Look, yeah, it was, I meant to look yeah. who that person is, and no I have no idea. And also. Why is the fraternity? Why are they so obsessed with like asses and like well, bare asses? I well, guess yeah, if anything, I, male like, asses. College in the eighties was weird. <laughs> That's all I wrote because all it is they just like God. well because the guy's like I'm not taking off my pants. The guy's like if I wanted your dog I wouldn't have something like that. He's, and then he's like okay I guess I'll take him off because he doesn't really want it. I feel like the way that he was shaving his ass with that straight yeah. razor. Yeah. It, there would have been chunks of his ass right. on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All Sweeney Todd and shit. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, guy dong and <clears throat> Guy dong, of course, yeah. And then, uh... <laughs> Post girl yeah, dong. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, it was just very strange. Yeah, the, the acting was very robotic. I, I am in college now. I'd like to go to college in animation. Yeah. There, there was the, the inflection. There was really yeah. no inflection in any of the voices. Well, Kevin was the worst out yes. of all of them. Yes. Yeah. He was very whiny, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, his, like, did my sister die? And like, like when he would whine, like his voice would like go up a register. Yep. He's like, Whoa! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like a lot of people tried to help him. Like throughout so, all of right. it. And he's just like, no, everyone's bad, and the police are bad too. Right. So and it's like ugh. that brings up a good point. Like none of the characters in this movie are likable. No, except for Kevin's girlfriend, kind of. Uh, yeah, she was okay. I and that, that one yeah. dude, I was like Tiffany, but that's I don't know if that's right. Who was the first guy that died in the group? 
That didn't George? really want to go. Yeah, George. He yeah, wasn't George. too bad because he seemed to, to right. me. He seemed like the kind the guy that was like he just like they said he wanted to be friends. He just yeah. he just did it because they wanted to do yeah, it. He and, wasn't like tainted by like the, exactly. The I, I didn't yeah. mind him. He didn't because he probably didn't have many lines. The lines he had were right. kind of believable. That's about it. Yeah, the mom was the worst. <laughs> She did nothing. Yeah, she was pointless. Like, yeah, why even she, have her? Yeah, in the exactly. Movie? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Agreed. My favorite though is when they were <clears throat> so when they find the matchbook at the quarry mm-hmm. or whatever, and they're like, "Oh, we gotta go to this place." And they're like, yeah, five beers. And he's like, 10 bucks. They're like, 10 bucks for five yeah. beers. I'm like, that's a fucking great That's deal. what I was thinking. I'm just like, this stock up, stock yeah, up. this is incredible. Uh, how do you just go to like a bar and be like, oh, one beer, please? <laughs> that, that was the other thing. I'm just like, yeah, it's, they guess they're like five beers. Yeah. And, like, and there's obviously like multiple taps there. Yeah. Right. yeah. So I, I always thought that was very funny because I, I remember that from other things. I guess right. I just don't want to pay royalties to like Budweiser or something. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ah, oh, screw you, Budweiser. One cold one, please. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forty two fifty short of shorts. Well, at forty one minutes, uh, that's when Kevin threatens the teacher for the first time. Is that when he throws the chair? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I thought, like the teacher, that was one of the nicer teachers. I thought, even though we kind of was ripping on Kevin a bit, he was the one <laughs> Kevin that was, deserves it. That's oh, why. Of course, he deserves it. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I don't care. Your sister died, bro. This is in class. You pay attention. Well, uh, like going back to how none of the characters are likable, like. Kevin's sister, like, gets raped and killed. Obviously a terrible thing. But then, like, because of that, he becomes a terrible person. Yeah. Like, he, he has, like, a hair trigger. He's, like, right. aggressive towards, like, his friends and his family. Yeah, he like, couldn't yeah. deal with the death of his sister. He's yeah. like, why are these, it's like, why are these people allowed to walk the streets? They should yeah. be killed before they even get a chance to do this. And I'm thinking, it's just like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, it just, this doesn't make sense. When they first decide to be vigilantes, mm. why do they beat up those guys changing the tire? I think they were trying to jack the car. Were they? Yeah. yeah. I uh, thought the same thing. Like, yeah, they're trying uh, to change a tire. Like, what's going on? Yeah, that's but, what I didn't yeah, get. But, but I just assumed. I thought they're trying to steal the tires. Yeah, that's, yeah. I, I, I was like. They're, like, on, like, a main highway. Right. Yeah, I know. It was very confusing. Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, it was very confusing. <laughs> so, at the beginning, there's a certain part where they're, um, no, it was during the high school graduation. I oh, started yeah, so to go back to it. Yeah, beginning. yeah. Well, they're naming off names. And I thought they said Getty Lee. <laughs> and I'm just like, Living in oh, the night oh. night. Are you into Rush at all? Uh, yeah, I like Rush. The documentary is fucking really. I think it's on Netflix. Wow. Oh, really? Beyond the lighted stage. Huh. It's uh, really, really good. Netflix hot sauce. I don't know. Uh, I'm getting. I'm thinking about getting rid of my Netflix and signing up for a hot sauce monthly delivery. I don't watch enough on Netflix. I like hot sauce. That's a weird exchange. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, I was thinking guy. about getting rid of Amazon Prime to get HBO Max. That makes more sense. Yeah, but. that does make sense too. All right. Can you I just feel like there's something else you could like budget out? Can you just buy hot sauce at like your local yeah, jewel or Mariana? Right, but they only have a limited selection. I can get fancy ones. Let me just order some online. Heatness.com. <sighs> yeah, but Netflix, not a sponsor. Is, Netflix <laughs> is dumb too. They need better things. But the, the 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 rush. <laughs> I've actually been think did we talk about this? I'm thinking about making my own hot sauce. We talked about it. Yeah. Ooh. It's super easy. You just like you like find it's the type of pepper that you want yeah. to like act as your base. And then you just like ferment it in a bottle or a mason jar for like two weeks or so. We and then you just add vinegar. It's yeah. like super simple. Wow. That's really cool. See, I was watching. I was looking into doing some fermenting stuff, too. That's mm-hmm. really cool. I think I should look at that as well. Did you ever trust the eggs that were like in like, was it eggs? Pickle, right? like, pickle, pickle pickled eggs? eggs? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. I've been to a lot of bars like as a child. Oh, they used to be out. Bars? Yeah. No. yeah. Or yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Because <laughs> no, it's always gross. just like a big like mason jar thing and it's like all by itself. And it's, yeah. As long there's as no people way. put their hands in. Right. No. Yeah, there's no way. <sighs> but even tongs. Like I feel like tongue. a pair of tongs hanging. Yeah. I, think, I feel like they would still like, oh, oops. Like, I don't know. They just hold on to the tongs with them, put their hand in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you put the tongs around your wrist? <laughs> yeah, you no, know, that's gross. I, I, the only uh, like bar type food is like if there's pretzels, the nuts, or if like. Crotch food? Oh, I'm all over the crotch food, dude. I'll fucking. Or eat. the marsh, you know, cherries. Uh, My great grandpa used to own a bar in Wisconsin in Milwaukee. Yeah. And when I used to go visit, the I'd sit at the bar at the end where they had like the little flip up thing with the, mm-hmm. the olives and everything. And he used to let me take the cherries straight out of there with my fingers while he's making pictures of the bar. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> it was the 80s. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> AIDS. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, so whenever Kevin would, like, show his, like, animations, mm-hmm. like, the same thing would happen. Like, they would show the animation, and then... You know the uh, the professor would be like, "You didn't follow the lesson plan, yeah. right?" And I I never understood that about like art professors, like artists. You have to do it a certain way and everything. Yeah. I'm just like like because I took an, I remember taking an art class in Harper College. I took an art class and I just did what I thought my mm-hmm. my creative whatever. Yeah. You gotta see on you gotta be on this. I'm just like it's art. <laughs> like who are you, Mister Art Man? <laughs> that was his name. Art More man. like Fart Man. Yeah, it was Art Art Man. It was his name. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's like the third like i think it's like the third time it happens uh like an hour and 20 mm-hmm. in and he's like yeah you didn't follow the curriculum again you need boundaries and once again yeah. kevin yeah. gets super whiny he's like you don't know shit about my boundaries <laughs> right. and i'm like yeah. oh, oh, oh. while well, well, wearing a headband yes. yeah. oh my God. you no. told me to take a stand and i finally took one i'm killing people everywhere <laughs> yeah. oh what yeah. you're expelled yeah. and then so before they okay but back to the vigilante when they first were thinking about doing it <laughs> when the guy's like um He's like, we, we can do what we want. Like, the cops are taking their time. They have laws. We don't have laws. We don't have, I'm just like, no, you do. Like, there's That's laws in place for you not to do these things. Yes, of course there's laws for you. Um, the law. I think it's Kevin that says, like, God damn it, I'm serious. I mean, where the hell are we going to get white horses and lances? God damn it, I'm serious. I do want to take a moment <clears throat> to address the insane bar shootout that happens yes. at yes. the end. Yes. yes. I mean... Everyone has a gun. Yes. I mean, everyone yeah. gets shot. Well, and that's the thing. It's yeah, because it's the gang that they all have guns, and then the vigilantes, like they all have guns, and they start shooting at each other. And I swear, at the beginning, only innocent people are getting hit. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what it really looks like. It's yeah, like, oh. but I mean, and it, it's like a real small bar. Like everything's getting fucked up, except for the pool balls. The pool balls don't move one well, bit. Everything not. else gets yeah, yeah. fucking destroyed glued, in that bar. Glued to the table. That's that, just yeah. for show. <laughs> Show balls. Yeah, yeah. It's not to play with. <laughs> God. I'm just going to leave that. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure. It's making sense of the situation. Yeah, that whole shootout was absolutely fucking insane. Yeah. Oh, wait. Why am I? There's that whole scene with the prostitute, too. What was that all about? No idea. Yeah, because he that, doesn't have any feelings anymore. He just he just wanted to have no. the sex, man. <laughs> the it's, sex. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that might have been what they're trying to go for. Yeah. Yeah. Cause one of the, like one of their friends in the vigilante group dies and like immediately after he dies, a prostitute comes up. It's like, Hey, want to spend the night? He's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Two or four. Yeah. And then they have the most like unsexy undressing scene ever <laughs> where they're like literally at opposite sides of the room. <laughs> they're just like undressing, just like looking at each other. Like <laughs> very weird. Yeah. Uh, and then the movie ends with the national anthem. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I was. Oh, that was very strange. Like a rock and roll, but not Jimi Hendrix version. Right, of Star yeah, right. it's like 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 the original soundtrack for this got removed, and some guys like I'll just put it some cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's like a crazy sax solo, like during like one of the car chase scenes. No, uh, there's also a weird sax during the rape scene, which is yes. really weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At the end, I'm like, this guy's an idiot. I hope he dies, and then it ends up happening. <laughs> With the grenade, they find grenades. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay. With and then, it's what I don't get is one of the guys supposedly wants to be a doctor, you know. So the guy that had the stethoscope. Oh, oh, at the very beginning, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. The other guy's in the army, so he's the one that was able to get like the uniforms and some of the guns and stuff. I'm thinking, oh, that's so right. these guys like, had, like chose careers. That take a lot of dedication, but right. instead of and that, they threw it away like in a week. Yeah. Exactly, it's like like you, your friendship with this one dude you've known f- in high school for what three years, maybe. Right, it's like really, yeah. it's okay. Well, yeah, go around and kill children. <laughs> awesome, have a good time. Man, it is so unbelievable. Just it just was the girl that they shot at the convenience store robbery scene. Was she supposed to be somebody? No, she was just young. Yeah, just young. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, because she had a toy gun. Yeah, so they basically just murdered a child. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, 
<laughs> They're kids. Who cares? Throw stones in glass houses. <laughs> You'll get more of them. <laughs> 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 There's a song with the lyrics of drinking beer and kicking butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that was kind of funny. The, the during, not the whole part of the song. The whole scene. Oh, the, the scene is garbage. The, the garbage. The song yeah, is but the was song. That the, yeah. Was that the frat party scene? Yeah, when yeah. the horses and the pigs come in and everything. Yes. Yeah. Um, See, they could have had that. They could have had frat parties and guy bought and everything, but no, they wanted to go around killing. Picking up olives with butt cheeks. Exactly. Could have Which been a great time for everybody. Showed in detail. And they, and a lot of the women during that were just getting their boobs grabbed, yes. their asses grabbed, and yeah. like, like it was very just like, oh, so I'll really, use that as a segue. So we've seen Hot Chili and Hell Squad, like canon movies that have a lot of nudity in it. Yeah. But in both those movies, it's always kind of like a fun, like, oh, this is the silly nudity. <laughs> yeah. Because the internet hadn't been invented yet. Right. Yeah. But like this, there's a lot of nudity, but it's always in like, like in rape or like sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. So that's why I'm saying this is worse than Hell Squad. Because there's a lot of nudity, but it's not in a fun way. <laughs> yeah, it really is. No, it's not at so all. It's like, I yeah. would, so I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. I definitely wouldn't recommend it in a group setting. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no yeah, you're way. watching some kids. Yeah, you want to put the kids to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, I, so to kind of wrap it. Yeah. You know, I, yeah, I would not recommend this. At all. No, no. No, I mean, no, me neither. Yeah. It's not a good movie. No. Uh-uh. The, uh, the budget of this <laughs> was $1 million, which, I mean, they blew up some cars. Uh, there's uh, yeah, a yeah, lot of explosions. Yeah, the explosions <laughs> and the gun stuff probably co- like cost yeah. a lot, yeah. Uh, what do you those think? Those animations, though, too. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, what do you think it made it at the box office? Two. Hundred, two thousand, what? <laughs> it was at a dollar, dollar show and two people went. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna go seven hundred and fifty. Uh, my serious one. I'm gonna say like ninety thousand. Like really, I'd say about maybe that. Not even uh, break hundred. Two hundred and forty thousand. Wow. So uh, to me, that's even too much. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, still at a loss, but yeah, I'm surprised it did that much. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, this a little bit of trivia. Uh, this was intended as a sequel to Malibu High. She's studying with the best instructors at Malibu High. And if she can't learn enough from nine to three. You game for a little game? She takes her teachers on a field trip. Well, that's an offer hard to resist. Then don't. But that kind of, I just looked at the cover and that kind of looked like a hot chili kind of like, <laughs> there's a hot garbage. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's probably that too. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, so the director of this, Lawrence Folds, he directed and wrote this movie. <laughs> Related to Ben Folds. <laughs> I don't think I can even even name a song. Yeah, that's what it's fine. It's like it's fine. It was, it was perfect. Uh, so yeah, Lawrence Folds uh, directed this and wrote this, and uh, so I was curious what else he did because this movie's not good. Right. Yeah. And he also wrote and directed a movie called "Don't Go Near the Park." The gruesome reality, more shocking than your most horrifying nightmares. There is no escape from the supernatural fiends that stalk your soul. Keep out. This park is not for play. Don't go near the park. And but the one line that I saw was had a largely negative response for its themes of cannibalism, incest, and pedophilia. Oh, <laughs> jeez! Oh. So I was like, uh, he seems like Lawrence Fold seems like a stand-up guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it sounds like we all do not recommend this. Yeah. Uh, no, not at all. Graduates of Malibu High. And I think I'm with you. I think this is probably. I think yeah, it's this worse is, than this Hell is worse than Hell Squad because Hell Squad had that lightheartedness to it. Yeah, you know, it was still the worst movie we've seen at that point, but it still it had that. But this is just such just spare that, garbage. That and it's I realize we watch very low quality versions of it, but just so dark, dark, yeah, so dark, yeah, yeah, yeah. big time. Yeah, I guess this is worse than Hell Squad. Ugh, good job, Brian. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I picked some stinkers, man. So you managed to out garbage fire brand brand. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Congratulations. That's tough. Uh, 
Doers, blended scotch whiskey, Caribbean smooth rum cask finish. What, aged eight years is that? Yes. Very tasty. Very. Yeah. So I had it with one ice cube. Um, as the ice cube, it makes it a little lighter. Um, very good. Um, no bite at the end. Very smooth. Mm, I really yeah, enjoyed it. Cube. Yeah. Well, until next time. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. hey, Brian here. Thanks for checking out Nick on Cage and uh, Loose Cannon. Uh, best way you can help other people find out about us is like, comment, share, and subscribe to the podcast.